February numbers are in for our labor market report. We're so glad that you are tuning in with us this morning because we have lots of opportunities to tell you about. We have Ms. Monica De La Garza with the Workforce Solutions at the Coastal Bend joining us this morning. Hello. Good morning. Oh, good morning. All right, busy lady, I'm going to just <laughs> let you run with it because you got a lot of good info for us. Yes. And I heard you over say to John Thomas, lots of jobs. Yes, that's the big message uh, today and it has been for quite some time is that there are a number of jobs in the Coastal Bend region that includes the 11 county region. Mm -hmm. So we run the jobs report on Monday and we had over 4,000 job openings that we, we have available. But right wow. there we're looking at the unemployment rate for the Coastal Bend region compared to Texas and the United States. And we're the red line there and we've, um, you know, we peaked, uh, we went down in December and then started peaking up in January and then February are the latest numbers where we went wow. up just a, just a bit. Uh, but it, the whole thing is that while we're, our unemployment rate is uh, lower than last year, it's uh, six tenths of a percent lower than last year and two tenths of a percent lower than um, last month. So, you know, it's hard to say knowing with all the jobs and the employers that we have in our career centers, we are hosting a number of hiring events, 14 in the next two weeks, as a matter goodness. of fact. Yeah. Mm, so on the next slide, we have the breakdown by county. So here's the 11 county breakdown. And normally we see a little green and red, but it's all green, which this is, this rarely happens where month over month and year over year, there were de decreases across all 11 counties. So it's a good sign, you know, unemployment Definitely. going down, but we also have all the jobs, you know, the job openings going up. But it's a good thing that we're here in this community, the service that we provide to both employers and job seekers, um, because we work with employers. Without the employers, we couldn't help the job seekers. So on the next slide, we actually have the breakdown of the number of job openings. So the wow. job uh, openings are over 4,000 there. And then you can see the number of job seekers that we've served. So we, we serve job seekers both in our career centers, on the phone and online. The majority of it uh, is online, but um, that is a big number for us that we continue to see. Absolutely huge. What a great resource for those who are looking for employment to be able to reach out to you guys in so many different capacities. And you know, what right now do you see as just keeping us from hiring? Do you think there's uh, the education level or trade certifications or, or what is it? You know, skilled labor is something that is very much in demand and people that may be thinking of a career change, this is a good time because there is funding available for some type of, you know, different types of training. So yeah. if someone has been like, let's say um, in an office and right. they're thinking about welding, you know, there are training programs available and there can be some financial assistance also available. You know what, your uh, Deputy Executive Director was a guest speaker for the YWCA's yes. Equal Payday Luncheon as we're both all board yes, members yes, for the yes. group. And she said something that was a gem. None of these jobs are gender specific. Exactly. Ladies, if you exactly. want to go out there and you want to learn yes. how to be in construction or well, welding or plumbing or where all mm -hmm. of these jobs really are hot right now, go out there. Yes. The training is available. They need you. They, these are not gender specific yes. jobs, but I love that she said that. Yes. Take yes. a look at the yes. information on your screen and real quick. We, we've got the educator externship right now. Okay. This is where we're recruiting educators throughout the Coastal Bend region. There's two one week sessions that are offered and this is where educators get to make the connection from classroom, classroom content to real world uh, activities, which is in the workforce. So we're recruiting educators and then on the next slide, we're recruiting employers. <laughs> the best thing about the employers is there's no cost involved with them at all. The teachers are offered a $700 stipend. So right now is the time for teachers to uh, call us, uh, go online and sign up. And we're just excited for this opportunity. You got it. Thank you so much, Monica, Thank for being you. here. Thank you for all of that information. Again, our website, ktriplitv.com, where you can review that. We'll post this interview on there shortly later this morning. Thanks for being here. Thank